Have you ever had to write or maybe even play a minor triad and you had no idea what to do? Don't worry, today I'm gonna to teach you all about minor triads. Hi, my name's Jenny from the Musical Homestead and today I'm gonna to be teaching you about minor triads. Today's lesson is part of the elementary theory track here at the Musical Homestead, which is geared towards the kindergarten through fifth grade learner. If you're in sixth grade through adult, you need the Theory Musica track, and I'm gonna link that in the description below. Our textbook is The Fundamentals of Piano Theory. This is a preparatory level. If you're interested in joining us, I'm gonna link that textbook in the description below. And if you have been joining us and been following along with us on our journey, today's lesson comes from pages 40 and 41. We're gonna be learning all about minor triads. So let's get started. I hope you're excited to learn about minor triads. Before I teach you about minor triads, I have to make sure you understand two other things. If you've been following along with us in our textbook, you know these. These will be reviewed for you. The first thing is a triad. What is a triad? A triad is a group of three notes that are being played at the exact same time. Tri meaning three, triad, three notes being played at the same time. The second thing you have to know is how to create minor five finger patterns. And if you know how to do that, great. If you want a refresher, I'm gonna to link to that lesson in the description below. When we start on the keyboard, I have written my C minor five finger pattern because we're gonna start with our C minor triad. You notice I have C, D, E flat, F, and G. And then I also have arrows on three of the notes on C, E flat, and G. To create our minor triad, we have to play the first note or the root the third note in our pattern, and the fifth note in our pattern. We play C, E flat, and G all at the same time. That is our C minor triad. Now let's figure out how to write it on a musical staff. Down here we have our treble clef, and I have written my C minor five finger pattern. C, D, E flat, F, and G. And you're gonna notice I have colored in the root, the third, and the fifth. Those are the only three notes we need to worry about for our C minor triad. I take these over here, boop, 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 and I have written C, E flat, and G in a stack directly on top of each other. This is what our C minor triad is gonna look like on the musical staff. I also want you to notice I have line, line, line. These triads are all gonna be line, 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 or space, space, space. The next triad we're gonna learn is G minor. I'm gonna start with our G minor five finger pattern. I have G, A, B flat, C, and D. And then I have my arrows on my root, my third, and my fifth. G, B flat, and D. When I play all three of those at the exact same time, that's gonna be my G minor triad. When I do it on the musical staff, I'm down here. I'm gonna write G, A, B flat, C, and D. And then I'm gonna take my root and bring it over here, boop, 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 boop. My third and bring it over here, boop, 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 boop. And my fifth and bring it over here, boop, 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 boop. So I have line, 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 because remember, our pattern is always gonna be line, 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 or space, space, space. And I have to make sure I have my flat in front of the B. That way I know it's gonna be a B flat. This is what our triad's gonna look like on the musical staff. And when I play it on the piano, I will be playing G, B flat, and D all at the same time. Before I teach you how to create a D minor triad, I wanna to talk to you about how a D minor triad sounds. If you have a chance, go to the piano, play some of these minor triads. When you start playing them, you're gonna to start to notice that they sound a different way. I think about major triads as sounding happy. When you play a minor triad, it might sound a little sad to you or maybe a little mysterious. Play some of these minor triads and let me know what you think it sounds like. Maybe you think that sounds mysterious or maybe you just think they all sound really sad. Minor triads definitely have a different sound to them. Our D minor triad first starts with our D minor five finger scale. We have D, E, F, G, and A. And I have my arrows on my root, my third, and my fifth. So I will be playing D, F, and A all at the same time. That's my D minor triad. Down here, I'm using my treble clef again. 
You can use a base clef. You don't always have to use a treble clef. You can use a base clef. Any of these minor triads can be written in both clefs. I'm using my treble clef. I have D, E, F, G, and A. That is my D minor five finger pattern. Now in order to get my triad, I'm gonna take my root, my third note, and my fifth note and do my stack. <gasps> Ooh, I have space, space, space for this triad. Remember, C and G were both line, line, line. This minor triad is space, 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 and in D minor, I don't have any accidentals. This is what it's gonna look like on the treble clef, and when I play my D minor triad on the piano, I'm gonna play D, F, and A. Go give that a try and see what it sounds like. Next, we're gonna move on to our A minor triad. On our keyboard, I have our A minor five finger pattern written in, A, B, C, D, and E, and then I have our arrows on A, C, and E, our root, our third, and our fifth. When I play A minor on the piano, I'm gonna be playing A, C, and E all at the same time. Now, back to our treble clef. I have our minor five finger pattern written down here, A, B, C, D, and E. Then, you know how this is gonna work. I'm gonna take my root and bring it over here, my third and bring it over here, and my fifth and bring it over here. This is my A minor triad. I have space, space, space. That's my nice stack. That's what it looks like on the treble clef. And then on the piano, I will be playing the A, the C, and the E at the exact same time. Our E minor triad is going to first start with the E minor five finger pattern on our keyboard. I have E, F sharp, G, A, and B. And then I have my arrows on E, G, and B because that is our root, our third, and our fifth. When I play this on the piano, I will be playing E, G, and B. That's my E minor triad. Now down here on our musical staff, I have E, F sharp, G, A, and B. And then I'm gonna take my root over here, my third, and my fifth to form my triad over here. My E minor triad is gonna be this stack of lines right here, E, G, and B. That's what it's gonna look like on the treble clef. And then on the piano, it's gonna look like E, G, and B, playing all three of those at the exact same time. The last triad I'm gonna teach you today is F minor. Our F minor triad first starts on the piano where I have my F minor five finger pattern, and then I have my arrows on my root, my third, and my fifth. F is my root, A flat is my third, and C is my fifth. When I play an F minor triad on the piano, I'm gonna be playing F, A flat, and C at the exact same time. Now come down here to our musical staff. I have my minor five finger pattern, F, G, A flat, B flat, and C. And then I take my F, my A flat, and my C, and I make my stack. I have space, space, space for this one. I make sure I have my flat in front of my A so I know it's A flat. And this is what my minor triad is gonna look like on the musical staff. This is what it's gonna look like up here when I play it on the piano. In my studio, I teach my students about minor triads by first teaching them about the minor five finger pattern and then playing the root, the third, and the fifth. In your textbook, it teaches another way to come up with minor triads. And I thought I would finish today's lesson by talking about that and also talking about these things up here, these notations. In your book, they say if you know how to do a C major triad, in order to get a C minor triad, you just take the third note and you go down a half a step. So the third note is E, and to go down a half a step, I would go down to an E flat, and this becomes our C minor triad. For example, if I'm doing G, this is my G major triad. In order to get a minor triad, I'm gonna take the third note, which is B, and I just go down a half a step. So if I think about the keyboard, down a half a step would take me to B flat. And I put a flat there. And this becomes my G minor triad. That's another way to look at it if you think about your major triad first and then take that third note and go down a half a step. That's one way that you can look at creating a minor triad. Now up here I have CM, CM, GM, GM. When we do major triads, we usually have a capital letter, so I have C, and then I have a capital M for C major. When you do minor triads, it's usually going to be a small lowercase letter, 
lowercase c with a lowercase m. And I wrote that over here too. I have G major and G minor. It's good to remember that capital letters mean a major triad and lowercase letters means a minor triad. Next I have my D major, my D minor, my A major, and my A minor. My D major has this F sharp. So in order to lower the third note, I would go down to F natural for my D minor. Same thing with my A major. My A major, the third, has this C sharp. In order to lower the C sharp down a half a step, I'm gonna go down just to a natural C. DM, capital D, capital M, D major, lowercase d, lowercase m, D minor. A major and A minor, the exact same way. I'm just lowering my third by a half a step, which means I'm going down from F sharp and C sharp to our natural, F and C. Here we have the example for E major. My E major triad has a G sharp on the third, so I'm gonna lower that by a half a step to plain G. My E minor triad is just gonna be E, G, B. F major, I have F, A, C, and I have to lower the third, so now I'm gonna put a flat there for my F minor. F, A flat, and C. Once again, I have my capital letters for my major triads and my lowercase letters for my minor triads. Now you know two different ways to create minor triads. The first way is to think through your minor five finger scale and then play the root, the third, and the fifth. By now you're an expert at that. The second way is to think about that major triad and take the third note and lower it a half a step. Both of those ways will get you a minor triad. In today's lesson, I introduced six minor triads but we know there's a lot more on the piano and I will be teaching those in future lessons, which I will link in the description below. In the meantime, if you follow these two ways of coming up with minor triads, I bet you could create any minor triad on your own. So give that a try too. All you need to know is the formulas and you'll be able to do it. Thanks for following along with us with our lesson today. If you're using the textbook, you need to do pages 40 and 41 for your homework. And then I'm also going to link in the description below a fun game that you can play that will help you get better at discovering what the triads are and then playing them on the piano. So I'm going to link that in the description below as well. If you've enjoyed today's video and you've learned something new, do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and turn the bell on. And remember, until I see you next time, to have fun learning music.